So this is a story all about how I almost got murdered driving for Uber on the wrong side of town. So allow me to set the scene for you. I'm a white guy in a fairly nice car in a very bad neighborhood. And I pick up what I think is just a normal woman. Well, I mean, she is a normal woman as in the fact like she she's a human. Like she wasn't, she wasn't some type of strange creature living in a human body. That doesn't change the fact that this woman was possibly a serial killer. I know this because when I picked her up, not only did she live in the cut, I mean way out there, she lived like way, way out there. Like so far out there that Alaska's like, you know what, we're a lot closer than you think. That's how far. So I'm driving down these insanely windy roads to get to this woman's house. I pull in and she's like, do you mind if I sit in the front seat? Yeah. She sat in the front seat anyway. She sits down, we're having a good time, right? I'm having a fantastic day. I'm doing a lot of Ubers, making some pretty good money, feeling really good. Next thing I know, this woman gets on her phone and she starts talking. Hey honey, did the kids go to school today? Oh, they didn't go to school. Why didn't they go to school? Whatever, whatever, I gotta go, I'm in an Uber. He's listening to this entire conversation. It's not weird at all, right? So I'm listening to this lady's conversation because you kinda can't not listen because she's right next to you. I'm thinking to myself, what kind of psychopath talks on the phone while you're in an Uber next to a person with very low music, very, very low volume. So I sit there and obviously as an Uber, you're an unlicensed therapist, which is totally cool sometimes. Sometimes it's not, like this case. This lady talked for about 45 minutes about how much she hated her job and then got on the phone a few more times to talk to a few people she worked with to tell them terrible, terrible things about their work performance. All right, so at this point, I'm just like, wow, this lady's quite annoying. She gets on the phone. Yeah, Brenda, you need to come in Saturday. It's not, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna, you know what? We're just gonna have to let you go. Do you know how awkward it is to pretend like you don't hear a conversation that you literally could not not hear? Because I'm thinking that this lady has the potential to fire me from a job that she doesn't even work at. So she fires poor Brenda out of nowhere. Out of nowhere did I see this coming. I don't really like to take Ubers. That's why I carry this giant knife. This is it. This is it. It was a fun run, guys. It was a fun, we had a fun time living. We really did. Pulls out an incredibly large, 100% illegal knife out of her purse. And that's when I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not terrified at all. You're terrified. I'm not crying. You're crying. Yeah, I'm dead. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there. She goes, isn't it cool? It'd be really cool if you didn't kill me. All that I'm picturing is this lady just like grabbing her knife, leaning over, just, hey. <laughs> this woman is showing every sign of being a psychopath. One, she lives in the wood. Two, she has absolutely no empathy. Number three, she wields weapon, large weapons at all times, all the time, all the time. I have 40 minutes to go with this large sword wielding psychopath woods lady. So this lady doesn't kill me. I'm still here, which is nice, but I'm really terrified to drive for Uber now because I almost got murdered by what I just thought was a terribly mean boss lady. All righty, righty, right. So that's just a little bit of a story on how I almost got murdered driving for Uber. Shout out to Uber for not letting me die. They didn't really have any control in that situation though. So you know what? Thanks, but no thanks. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I hope you like it. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Check me out on Instagram and Snapchat. Do everything that you can do. And I will see you later. Peace. So this lady just whips out the biggest, largest, whips out the, I don't know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> bada bada bing bong. Stop talking like you had a big stroke.